Alright guys, I'm calling this video Exposing Their Lies. Kind of county appraiser's office. These are the guys. I'm going to start off here and then I'll, I'll go back and tell you how it led up to this. But here's these two guys. Came up on my, on my, first of all, they cut right across the front yard. They didn't walk around and take the walkway. Cut right across my front yard and walked right up there. That was the problem that I had with them the last time they came, which was about three years ago. They haven't pulled this stunt since then, but I see they starting to get more bolder and bolder and bolder. Now they coming out and doing the same thing. But let me show you. Let me show you what they doing right there. Do a close up. Okay, here they are. They coming up on the front porch. He got, I got this same paper over here. They didn't know I had that paper. But this paper was given to me at the appeal hearing. We had an appeal hearing that we went to and they had to turn over all their evidence and I had to turn over all my evidence that I had. And when we went to the appeal hearing, the guy told him to give me all their evidence. And when they did, because let me tell you, these guys, I don't know if it was these guys, but they had came and stamped all through the yard. And uh, let me tell you what he's doing right now. Look at him with the pens. He started right there and he's reading exactly what okay see he's seen that no no now hold up let me show you what he what he's saying this right here look at this right here it says on here all future inspection shall be scheduled beforehand with the owner, phone number to call is listed in permit. He knew he wasn't supposed to be there because it states it right on the paper. Let me let me go back. Let me go back and show you him. Okay, here we go. He put the pencil right on it. There he go, right to the beginning of it, and he's reading it. Watch him look at his friend. He looked at him like, you know we ain't supposed to be here. But check this out. Even though they know they're not supposed to be there. Look at him looking around at the cameras. Like, do you think we should do this? Now watch what they do. Oh, the cameras switch angles. Hold on just a second. Okay, now this is what they did. Pulled out the tape measure. Look at him. Trump right through my flowers again. Right through my flower bed. He goes around. Now look at this. Now look at that one. Now look right here. He didn't go around the back of that truck. He cut right through the front. There's his shadow right there. Cut right through the front of my truck. He put that tape measure. The truck was about... Let me pause it. The truck was about like maybe eight, maybe ten inches away from the garage door. He squeezed through the front of my, between the garage door and the truck. And he was having a hard time and he set that tape measure on the hood of my truck. And he put three scratches down the hood of my truck. Now, you see me pulling up right here. I'm pulling up. I catch him going right back through here. When I'm walking through there, I catch him coming because they thought nobody was home. They said, let's get this done. Why ain't nobody coming to the door? Here I come and I catch him. Okay, now let me go to what happened. Okay, guys, this is what happened. This is from my cell phone. Let me... Hold up, let me see if I can turn this volume up. Okay, guys, here it is.
it's gonna be like that. Uh -oh. I'm not doing nothing else in this house. It's done. It's it's done. It's, it's, it's done as far as I'm going to do it. Okay. And I told them. I said I will not be completing anything else on this house. I told them that. I said if y'all want to waste y'all time coming out here, you can come out here. And they promised me. They said we will not show up at your doorstep without being announced. They got my cell phone number. They got this, but this house phone number. And not only that. They never, they changed my build date on this house. This house is not a brand new house. This house is an addition. This is the original house right here. They changed the, the build date on this house, but guess what? I asked them for the law stating that they have the jurisdiction to do that, and they have never gave it to me. I'm not touching this house, and I'm not doing anything else to this house to they give me the law stating that they have jurisdiction to do it. They have not gave it to me, and I'm not touching this house. It's going to stay just like this. And I want to know who sent y'all here. Who sent, somebody sent you here. Okay, well, who, who write the stack of paperwork up? Who's your supervisor? Janae Robbins. So Janae Robbins sent you here. Okay, now, who are you? Just a minute ago, they said no one sent them there. Said that they they from the appraisals office and they do that every year. Then come to find out, their boss did send them. They just admitted it. You. Who are you? Okay. Now you were sent here. Yes, sir. Out of the stack of papers. After they told me they was not going to send anybody out here without getting my without getting my consent. So they sent y'all out here without my consent. I just want you to tell me, did they send you? Now he's acting like he's he's gonna look the paperwork over again. But watch this. Out here after they told me that they wouldn't, they, did they, they not did. send you? Okay, okay. Now, now I'm looking on here like that. There's a note on here. There's a note on here. On the transmission line. Exactly. So, so what are you doing here? That was our fault for not reading that. No, no, it's not your fault for not reading that. It's your fault for not following your own rules that y'all agreed to, and you still haven't gave me any law stating that you have the right to change my bill day. You have, y'all have not. Everything that y'all do is not by the book. Everything that y'all do, they change the bill day to that date that's on there. This house was fucking here in, in nineteen. 1926 was the original date of this house. After I did the addition on there, they changed the date, the build date of the house to 2011. It was only an addition, but they did that to collect more taxes out of me. They wanted to collect more taxes and they couldn't collect they couldn't collect the taxes that they wanted with the house having 1926 on there. So what they did was they changed the bill date of the house to make me pay more taxes. I do not have no so new this sewer line. This is the main house that, that has this addition over here? This is the addition over here. This, 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 this right here. This is my water line. Same water line from 1920 whenever they put this water line in. That foundation, look at this foundation right here. Same foundation. Same foundation right here. This ain't no new foundation. Same damn foundation. They changed my build date to raise my taxes up. And then they gonna say, well, if we left the build date the way it was, we wouldn't be able to charge you no more taxes. Well, how the hell can you charge me taxes on a house that ain't even a new house? You charging me new taxes on a damn old house. Have you appealed any of that? I appealed it. Yeah. And I requested them to give. I appealed it. I took I, I filled out the payment under protest. I had a hearing at the appraisal's office. They told me what nothing that they can do, that the law requires them to do it. The law requires them to change the bill date on a house after you do an addition on it. So I appealed it to the state of Kansas appeal board. The state of Kansas appeal board ruled and the ruling was 
Hold on, let me get the paperwork. Okay, this is the paperwork. I'm not going to read the whole thing. And I'm looking through this camera, so I, I really can't see too good. But I'm going to put this up. You can pause it, and you can read what, what the appeals board said. They said that the 2011 shall only be used as of a, the effective age. And 1926 shall be noted in the... Uh, man, I, I'm trying to look through this camera and hold it. But y'all can pause it. And y'all can look at this, and you can read it. All right. Okay. They have not did it. They have not did it. And it's been three or four years that they have not did it. This don't make no sense. And then y'all here today, after they gave me their word, they said, nobody will be at your house without your consent. We're going to contact you up front. We'll make an arrangement. And anybody that comes there that haven't had your consent, it's not doing it under us. That's why I want you wanted to hear from y'all who sent you here. Yeah. 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 But it's right there on your paper. How are you not aware of it? He looked at it right on the front porch. These people are professional liars. He looked at it right on the front porch. Y'all seen it. He was getting ready to lie. He said that they didn't have to do it. He was getting ready to lie till the other guy spoke up. He just said that he's not aware of the Constitution that he swore oath to. Hold on. What do we have here? We have an oath that they swore and signed. I had to go through hell to get this. This oath. Their boss tried to tell me that they don't swear an oath. Only government officials do. They lie. They professional liars. All of them got to swear an oath. And all of them has to have a bond. Here is one of them's. Here's the other ones. And here's their bosses. Oath. All of them. I requested all of them. But he says on here that they don't have one. Get a good look at this guy, because this is who you're going to be dealing with if you in the state of Kansas. Jackasses like this that don't even know are either they professional liars or they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Because all of them got to have an oath and all of them got to have a bond. And whenever you run into problems with them, the first thing you do is ask them for a copy of their oath and ask them for a copy of their bond. Because that bond covers them for any damages that th that's done while they on your property. And that oath that they swear, they can't use ordinances against you. Ordinances is not law. They have to use laws. And the same reason why 
They have not gave me the law when I asked them for a copy of the law, proving that they had jurisdiction to change the bill date of my house from 1926 to 2011. It's because it's no law. It's no law. I contacted the the Kansas uh, uh, Legislation Department and I asked them to give me uh, a copy of this law. And the guy paused on the phone and said, I don't know what the hell they talking about. It's no law stating that they had the right to do that. Then I called and talked to the, uh, the hearing officer from the appeal, appeals board. And the hearing officer says, there's no law stating that they have the right to do that. But they telling me it's a law. So what I ended up having to do, hold on, let me show you this. I had to file this form. It's called a COL form. This is Deparation of Rights Under Color of Law. They are telling me that it's a law that was passed. A law has to has to be it is a law has to go through through channels. A law has to be voted in the House, voted in the Senate, go to the governor's desk, the governor signed it into law. If them channels didn't happen, then it's not a law. It's an ordinance. And citizens do not have to abide by ordinances. Ordinances is only abide by the people that works for that municipality. This jackass is the one that has to abide by the ordinance because that's their because he works for that municipality. Now, this right here is what I found. I filled it out and right up here in the top up here, I wrote in there that you never gave me the law stating you had jurisdiction. I want a copy of everyone's bond that's involved in this from their boss down to the two people that came to my house. I want a copy of all of them's um, um, bond and they oath. And this form is the only reason why they gave it to me, because this is a legal notice. And this right here is putting them on, on notice that they are violating my rights under color of law, which is punishable by. Um, I can't find it right now. I don't want to make the video too long, but I'm going to hold this up here and you can pause it and you can read it. Whenever you go through this, the first thing you do when somebody violates your rights from the police or any official, any municipality, any person that works for the for for the government or for your local government, you file this form right here. This form right here goes directly to the FBI and the FBI investigated. That's the only reason why they gave up their bond. That's the only reason why they gave up their um their oath and that's the only reason why they even replied back to anything that I said. Now, I'm going to let you finish watching this. Nobody was set foot on my property. Then that's a breach of contract. Am I right? professional liar you seen him see look at that right on the front porch this guy all of these slums is is professional liars from their boss all the way down to them shit rolls downhill and that's the they boss are, is shit and they are shit too
This ain't writing right on that paper. I got that same paper in the house. I got that same paper where it says on there, you were supposed to contact me before you come on here. You were supposed to set up an appointment. So if it's on that paper and it's on my paper, then you here illegally. Am I right? that you had nothing to do with that, but you do have something to do with being here today. That's the point that I'm making. When do y'all ever follow your own rules? When do y'all ever do that? Y'all never follow your own rules. It's, it's laws that y'all supposed to follow, but y'all don't follow them. You're not following it because you're here at my house today. I'm, I'm, I'm going to call in right now. I goes in, calls their boss. She won't answer the phone. So I call her boss. He answers the phone. And he's telling me that he never heard of them happen to have a bond or a oath that they swore. What a pitiful, pitiful boss. Now, after I found that they didn't cut all ties with me. They will not um, answer the telephone. The secretary get it. No one will come to the phone. I finally got one person to come to the phone and they say, we were instructed not to talk to you anymore, not to talk to you about anything. So now none of them want to talk to me. None of them. That right there, they get paid with taxpayers' money. That, that building is owned by the people. It's not owned by them. It's owned by us. And they are civil servants. It's my right to be able to address my grievances with these people. Whenever I see fit. But they didn't ban me from the place. Nobody will talk to me. That right there is depriving me, de depriving me of my rights. And they don't even understand that. That they are depriving me of my rights. They don't understand that they're getting ready to get their ass sued off right now. But they're scared. That's the reason why they won't take my phone calls. No one will talk to me anymore. And that's the reason why they turned everything over to a lawyer. And the lawyer will not contact me. Will not answer the phone. Will not take any of my emails. They all are ducking and dodging and hiding right now because they know that they done effed up real good. But I'm not going to make this, this. It's been 23 minutes. I'm, I'm calling this this video exposing their ass. No, I better not say that on there. Calling it exposing their lies. Appreciate you watching it all the way to the end. Signing out. Thank you. Have a good night.